Welcome to Chalk Talk, Daniel Public Schools Weekly News Magazine. This week we're at George Washington High School and we're here for the ROTC annual inspection. I have Commander Frank Hitt here with me. Now Commander, this I think it's about the third year that, that we've that I have been here when you've been doing this. Usually we do this a little more towards the spring. You're a little bit earlier this year. Is that putting any uh, particular pressure on you? A little bit of pressure because we're usually used to being able to have a little bit more time to prepare. But the area manager that sets the inspection schedule wanted to get some of the inspections done a little bit earlier this year. Um, so we decided to kick this thing off as early as we possibly can. Now, I know what the word inspection means. I think we all know that. But what does it mean to an ROTC unit to have these individuals come? And, and in a minute, you and I are going to have a conversation about exactly what they're looking for. But what does that mean? What does it mean to this, this unit to have this inspection? It means quite a bit, actually. Um, we get graded on this inspection. And um, a lot rides on this because uh, we could be up for a unit awards. Um, and uh, my evaluation is, is based off of this inspection, okay. so uh, there, there is a lot riding on it. Now, clarify something for me. Uh, the NJROTC, that's the, the Naval ROTC, are you a unit of the school system or a unit of the military? What, how, how does that fit in? Well, we, uh, myself and, and my partner, Master Gunny O'Grady, we are hired by the school system. We are both retired from the military. Uh, we're hired by the school system, but we're supported by the Navy. Uh, they give us uh, support in the way of uh, media materials, uh, books, uniforms, and, and so on and so forth. They pay uh, uh, half of our salary, so the Danville Public Schools doesn't, you know, they only have to pay the other half. Um, so uh, we, we, we represent the military, but we're really not a military unit per se. I, I wanted to make that clarification. Um, those. Uh, if this is very military looking, but you and I have had a conversation many, many times. What this is really about is leadership for these uh, students. Yes, absolutely. Um, a, a student can come into my program as a freshman, stay all four years, graduate as a senior, and they will not owe the, the military one day of service. Uh, it is completely voluntary for them whether they go in the military or not. The, the, the program was put into the high schools by uh, Congress, United States Congress, and it was uh, put here primarily to develop two things, uh, citizenship and leadership in these kids. That leadership, I mean, any time I've interviewed, and over the years I've interviewed many of, of the uh, ROTC cadets, that leadership just really stands out. I had a conversation a little bit earlier with, I think you call him your company commander, Connor. And uh, he's one of the few over the years that I've talked to that actually is planning on a military career. Most of these students are here for, I would say, the things that they learn, the skills that they learn, the, the uh, discipline that they learn. And um, they also gain confidence. Uh, myself, uh, Master Gunny O'Grady, we see a big difference between a freshman and a senior just in the, the confidence that they exude uh, they're basically head and shoulders above most other students because of all the paces we put them through and all the experiences that they go through. Um, they are definitely more confident individuals and they're ready to meet the world uh, challenges. You know, when you say that thing about confidence, I think as the camera looks around at the room today, um, they're not standing here like teenagers. They're standing here like, um, I would say, confident adults. Um, I mean, they look, they're very impressive. Well, thank you. Uh, We've put them through their paces. They know what to expect. We've trained for this, um, and they're actually pretty excited. My my leadership, my cadet leadership, they like the chance to basically show off what they know, what they've done, what they can do. Speaking of showing off, what are we going to see here today? Now, I know that they're walking around now talking to them, asking them questions and that type of thing. Um, I talked to one of the inspectors, um, and he said to me, I, uh, Master Chief Davenport, yep. and he told me that he's looking to see what their goals are. Where is it that they want to go? And I'm sure the other inspector, who we'll meet a little bit later, he's got certain things that he's looking for. But I know when this is over with, you're also going to see some, um, let's say, performances. Yes, uh, my kids are going to actually put on a little drill performance, and uh, they are really excited about that. Uh, you're going to see various aspects of, of, of drill. 
whether it be standard drill according to the book or what we call exhibition or trick drill. So they're, they're going to be able to show off a little bit, and, and they're excited about that. Yeah, I think you kind of end up the, the day with them, uh, let's say, marching in review? Yes, that's the, that we culminate with what's called the pass and review. Uh, that's when the entire unit will march around the gym and, and uh, give respect to the inspecting uh, officers. And uh, then, uh, in large part, most of the cadets can go back to class. My staff and my platoon commanders, we have to continue on. We have a luncheon we have to, to give the inspector, and then they have to give him a, a, a stand-up formal PowerPoint presentation on our unit and, and how we run and that sort of thing. Now, I met uh, Master Chief Davenport, who is one of the individuals that's here to do the inspection. Now, I believe you have someone else here that's kind of like, um, in military terms, the top guy? Yes, uh, that's Commander Moeller. He is the executive officer of the uh, local uh, recruiting district here. Uh, they actually home based out of Richmond, and uh, Master Chief Davenport is the command Master Chief of that, of that unit. So, you're going to give me the opportunity now to meet, is it now Commander Moeller? Let's do that. Okay, great. Commander Moeller, you are here to inspect our troops, I would say. And what is it that you're looking for when you, I've seen you going around and talking to them. What kind of questions are you asking them? I've been asking everything from the chain of command in the Navy, as well as in our government. I've been asking what they want to do after high school. What kind of answers and, are you getting? I'm getting everything. Uh, actually, everyone's answering everything correct, but mostly... They want to join the military and or go to college. And at least they have a plan. Whether you're a freshman or a sophomore, have a plan. And I tell them you need to start now on that plan and how you're going to achieve it. I think that's a very important fact. A lot of kids get in school and they're like a senior in high school going, oh, wonder what it is I'm going to do. So I think that um, says a lot about our students when you say that they, they seem to have a goal. Absolutely. And it says about the administration about the parents and the community as a whole, where they want to go beyond this high school. Let's talk a little bit about you. Now, you are a commander of? I'm the executive officer for Navy Recruiting District, Richmond. And I... What is that district? It must include ours also. Virginia, a little bit of North Carolina, and the uh, eastern border of uh, Maryland. How long have you been in the service? I've got 33 years in. I, um, I joined as enlisted um, seven days after high school back in 1980, and I came up through the enlisted ranks and I picked up an officer program. And then I've been an officer since 1995. So I did 15 years enlisted, made it to senior chief petty officer, and then I picked up an officer program. But I will tell you, uh, I would have done anything different, but I did not go to school right off the bat, and it wasn't for me. But I found out how big of an education was so important and the Navy put me through and I've got a couple bachelors and three masters now that the Navy has helped me through. Well, you might not have started right after high school but you sure got started there if you've got all of that behind you now. Let me ask you the same thing that I asked Master Chief Davenport. Were you ROTC? No. Did they have ROTC? Uh, in the high, I went to a downtown high school and they did not have ROTC in our high school. But they did have it in other high schools. I actually graduated from John Marshall High School in Rochester, New York. One of those northerners, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, I want to tell you how much we appreciate you coming here. And I want you to know we're very proud of this unit. Very, very proud. And we want to thank you for coming here and working with us. I will tell you, after talking to some of that, especially the first-year NJROTC students, they're proud of what they're doing in their school. Every one of them, you could just see it in their face. And we're proud of them. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Connor, you are what's called the company commander here, and do we call all of these uh, ROTC cadets here a unit? Yes, ma'am. This is the uh, entire unit right here on the day of the annual inspection. We get everybody down here in the gym once a year, and they're all in uniform, and they're all getting inspected. Now, when, how did you prepare for this? Now, this is happening earlier this year than it's happened in the past. How did you get ready, and what is it that each one of these cadets is going to have to do today? Well, we really pushed the uh, platoon commanders, the ones in charge of the individual cadets, to uh, get ready for this. We did do it in first semester instead of second semester, so... It's, it's tense, but um, I think they're ready. They prepare in class. We have a few after-school practices for it. Now when you say you prepare, what is it that the, uh, I know we'll have an outside inspector come in, 
and they're going to go around and they will talk to each one of these um, cadets. What is it that they're going to ask? Well, he could ask anything from um, Order to the Century, Chain of Command, or he could just ask, how's your day going? He can ask about anything he wants, really. And depending on the inspector, usually they're pretty uh, relaxed about it. He won't ask too many hard questions. He might ask something about phonetic alphabet, Alpha Bravo, Charlie Delta, that stuff. Or, like I said, he could ask, what's your favorite part of ROTC? That's a popular question. Let me ask you something. What's your favorite part of ROTC? Well, I like the discipline. That's what made me first join. I like the uniformity. I like the discipline of it. Um, I've met a lot of really good people here, my best friends, and uh, one of the best decisions I've made in my life, I think, joining this. Now, where are you? Are you a, a senior this year, a junior? What are you? Senior, ma'am. Now, what is it that you want to do next year? Well, I plan on going to college and then commissioning after college into like a Navy or Army. I'm not sure yet, but I plan on going to college and then probably commissioning as an officer. But you do, but you do want a military career. Yes, ma'am. How long have you been in ROTC? This is my fourth and final year. Done it all four years. Now, obviously, you came in when you were a freshman. What? It, why did you decide to come into it as a freshman? Well. They did a recruiting thing in eighth grade where they show off the uniforms and the drill and all that, and that kind of impressed me and had a lasting impression. So that convinced me to join, and here I am. <laughs> okay. So you've got a big job today. You're going to be the one that's standing out in the middle here telling everybody around here what to do, right? That is correct. Good for luck. Better, for better or worse. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, ma'am. We're going to take a short break, but be sure to come back after the break because what we're going to do after the break is have a conversation with some of these cadets you see me standing here with. Each year I receive thousands of calls from the citizens of Danville who are in need of help. I receive ongoing training so this in turn helps me to handle any type of call I may receive. But we need your assistance. If you have to call 911, please remain calm. This in turn helps the telecommunicator to understand your emergency and to get you help there faster. I'm Pepper Travis, 911 telecommunicator for the city of Danville, and I'm here for you. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're here at George Washington High School, and we're here for the annual inspection of the NJROTC unit. I'm here with some of the cadets. In the first half of the show, you met the inspectors, you met um, the commander hit, and we talked about what the inspection was all about. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a conversation with these students about what they're doing. Darius, how long have you been in ROTC? Uh, one year, ma'am. One year. Now, are you a freshman, sophomore? A freshman. A freshman. Why ROTC? Because it teaches me discipline and, yeah, leadership. Yeah. Well, I was very impressed. I've been sitting over there watching everybody. The, you guys have already been through the inspection, and you all need, most of you are first, first years, aren't you? I want you to know that uh, Commander Moeller said to me he was especially impressed with the first year cadets. So all of you need to be, have a nice big grin on your face. What's your name? Deshaun Scott. And what was that? Deshaun Scott. Deshaun? Deshaun. Deshaun. Deshaun, how long have you been in ROTC? One year, ma'am. That's right. I just talked about this being a one-year unit. Now, why did you get into ROTC? Because I need to learn discipline, ma'am. You need to learn discipline? Are you trying to tell me you're not disciplined? Somewhat, yes. Somewhat. Well, I want you to know Commander Moeller was impressed with you. DeWantes, what is that flag that you're holding? This is our platoon number. Now, you said platoon. A platoon is made up of all of the cadets that are standing right here. Now, so you would be platoon number one. Yes, ma'am, I would. Now, this is your first year in ROTC. Why ROTC? Because it will pursue my dream of going, becoming a military man. You want to go in the military? Which branch? Army. Good for you. Quintasia, you're looking very military standing there. How, now, why did you get into ROTC? Because I'm planning on going to the Navy. You plan on going to the Navy? You want to make a career out of the Navy? Yes, ma'am. Very good. You're in the right place. What have you learned so far? Discipline. Other than discipline, what else? Um, That's a biggie, by the way. Yeah. Um, to be more confident in yourself. Ma'am. I can see the confidence that's there. 
Why in ROTC? Because I wanted to either go to the Navy or Air Force. You do want a career in the military? Yes. Good for you. How about you? What was the question? You want what? What was the question? Why are you in ROTC? So I can go to the Navy. So you can go into the Navy. Got quite a few. And what? This would teach me. Quite a few people here that are planning on the military. Let's kind of take a look over here at this other platoon. I'm here with Master Chief Davenport, who's one of the inspectors here for our annual inspection. Now, uh, Master Chief, uh, are you like active duty or are you an ROTC commander from somewhere else? No, I, I'm on active duty. I've been on active duty for 28, and, 28 years, about three months. And You've earned your stripes. <laughs> <laughs> now, where are you stationed? I'm stationed at the Naval Recruiting District, Richmond, Virginia, as the Command Master Chief. And uh, this will be my final tour, so I'm uh, enjoying that. And um, it's been quite a journey in the Navy, so Navy's done well. Now, let me ask you, when you're here for this inspection now, is this your first uh, inspection of an ROTC unit, or is this something you've done quite often? This is my first inspection of an ROTC unit. My son was in a JROTC as well, and uh, that was great experience with him and definitely made a change in his life, and it's exciting to see all these students and their, and their goals and potential in the future. Now, let me ask you, did you, were you in ROTC? I was not. I was actually in Sea Cadets for a very short period of time, but uh, the, uh, and, and Civil Air Patrol, but the youth organizations that help, you know, um, move the youth ahead and, and give them inspiration to, you know, find their goals in life is always beneficial. Now, when you start talking to these cadets, what is it that you're looking for? Are you are trying to find out if they've learned the things that are taught in the class or, or how military ready they are? What is it that you're actually looking for? The biggest thing I'm looking for is what are their goals? You know, do they have a vision of where they want to go with their lives? You know, and, and it's a funny story and I always ask my son the same thing. And, you know, are you going to go to college and have someone like me working for you? Or are you going to go straight in, enlisted, and not go to college and work for somebody like me? That's, that's the two choices. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's good enough. So this is going to be your inaugural inspection, and I want you to know we're glad to have you here at George Washington High School, and you are going to be impressed. It is an honor to be here, and I'm impressed already. Thank you. over at platoon one that the flag you're holding is your platoon flag so we are now in platoon two is that correct yes ma'am now ROTC what is the thing that you like most about ROTC uh, drill the what drill drill you like to drill Yes, ma'am. how long have you been in ROTC two years why did you join ROTC it's allowed me to be a better person Good for you. Good for you. Samantha, why are you standing out in front of Platoon 2? Because I'm their platoon commander. I'm in charge of 2nd Platoon. 
Now, what does a platoon commander do? We make sure the platoon runs smoothly, make sure like everything goes well, and make sure they behave and teaches them what they're supposed to do in ROTC. Now, how long have you been in ROTC? This is my third year, ma'am. Now, why did you join ROTC? Because I'm planning on going into the military, and it helps me w get a good start, and it teaches discipline, and I like drilling and PT and stuff like that. You're the second person I've talked to that likes drilling. I didn't know that people liked it so much. Well, certain people do, but I found a few that don't. Okay. Now, when the young man who I think is company commander, is that a Connor? He stands out in the middle of the floor. When he turns around and looks at everyone, do, do, does he kind of like give orders to the platoon commanders and then they turn around and give orders to the platoon? Yes, ma'am. Is yeah. that the way it works? Pretty much, yes. Now, are you coming? Now, are you a junior? Yes, ma'am. Next year, you're a senior. Yes, ma'am. Are you coming back to ROTC next year? I probably am. Okay, you do a good job, and you guys look great. Thank you. I just saw you walking around Platoon 2 here going, shh, what is it that you're doing? What, what is your job? I'm the APC, so it's my job to keep them quiet and make sure nobody passes out and, like, tell them, tell them all the, the bend their knees and stuff like that. Okay, for the people out in the community that are watching and you say you want to keep them from passing out, and, what, and I know myself that's a thing that happens, but what causes people to pass out in a situation like this? When they lock in their knees, because when you lock your knees, the like air doesn't get through your legs, I guess, or something like that, and you pass out. Now, how long are these cadets going to be standing here? About an hour, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be like an hour, probably even more than that. Okay, 
That's that's a pretty tough thing to do. How long you been in ROTC? Three years. You're a junior or a senior? Junior. What's going to happen next year? Uh, I guess I'm going to graduate and go into the Navy. So that's your career. You want to go to the Navy. So you'll be coming back to ROTC next year, won't you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thanks for talking to me. You're welcome. Mr. Jackson, how proud are you when you come in here and you see these students like this? It brings great joy to, to my heart to see how our students perform every year, year in and uh, year out at this uh, annual inspection. Um, we run a first class program here at George Washington High School in everything that uh, we do. And this is just the icing on the cake when it comes to our ROTC program. Everyone in the, in the co community sees our program, sees our kids out doing band and orchestra concerts. They work football games. They they at all of our sporting e events, but they don't they don't come to see this inspection. And this is the icing on the cake. And we get excellent ratings every year because of our inspection. And and, and, and it's due to the hard work and the effort of our leaders. Um, Commander Hitt and O'Grady does a great job in getting our kids ready year in and year out for that annual inspection. I had just had a conversation with Commander Moeller, who is in charge of the inspection today, and he told me that he was especially impressed talking to the first-year ROTCs in their knowledge. And one of the things he said, he said everyone he had talked to so far, that these students have a goal. And that's so important uh, to know where it is you want to go. Well, again, that, that, that goes back to uh, the leadership of Commander Hitt and Old Grady. They do a great job of getting our kids focused from day one. They come into our, our program as freshmen but they get them goal oriented from day one. And they know what they're gonna do four years from now. So, and it's important because those kids know without a plan, people, people tend to fail. But, those, but these freshmen that come into the program that, that like ROTC, they, they tend to be shining stars here at George Washington High School. Not only are they shining stars, every time we have a function here at the school or in the community or at the, uh, any parade, when you see these kids marching down the street, you just feel like this is really neat. You just want to pound on your chest because it makes us very proud. And it makes me especially proud as, as being the principal of George Washington High School because as we say here, once a eagle, always a, a eagle. And, and it goes to our, to our core values when it comes to leadership, integrity, character, and pride. That's, that's our motto for 2013-2014 school year. And those kids, all, all 100 of those kids exemplifies that motto on a daily basis. I want to say to everyone out there what Mr. Jackson just said, once an eagle, always an eagle. I can just imagine some of you standing up cheering right in your living room right now. We want to thank you for being with us today, and I know that you're as impressed as we are, as these outside inspectors are, with what a great job we're doing here with our NJROTC. Thanks for being with us this week, and be sure to come back next week.